Uh, usually I'm political, but this is kind of a public service sort of a video. I had, had a little problem here on the lake. You see, I've got a cabin up here on the hill. And I've been blessed with a bunch of feral cats that just loves the fact that I feed them, but they don't care much about me, so they let me feed them, but they don't want me to get too friendly. And that's all right. I don't need a bunch of friendly cats around anyway. Anyhow, uh, they're up there, and down here on the lake, I've got a dock, and my friend has a... A pontoon boat here that's enclosed, kind of a little house thing. And it has a problem that just seems a little unusual to me, but it's got mice. Mice, mind you, right here on the lake. I don't know how they got on it, but they like it. So I had this bright idea about getting rid of these mice. I bought some glue traps. You watch them, our little boxy looking thing got that real sticky stuff like fly paper in it and it catches them mice whenever they step in you can scatter a little bait around and they just jump on it and can't get loose so I thought that'd be a good idea to eradicate this this vermin epidemic so I put four of them little suckers out in the houseboat thing and next morning didn't have no mice, didn't catch none. But on the way out, caught me. What I mean is I stepped on one side of one of them our little glue boards and and it stuck to the side of my foot and so I'm going up to the cabin and and and, and I didn't uh, I had my hands full, so I just figured well I'll just go on up to the cabin and then I'll kind of extract myself from this this glue board but on the way up there one of my tomcats come walking down there's that old big gray one I call Mosby you know the gray ghost he he come hobbling down through there and you look like I told you before they ain't at all friendly but when they hungry they getting underfoot a lot and of course Mosby is hungry and he got underfoot and and got stuck to the other side of my glue board. So there we are, united in 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 difficulty. He's glued to one side and I'm glued to the other, and we ain't a getting along real good. And by the time I figured out I could slide out of my shoe, I had was had lost some skin and I was bleeding. He even lost a, a wad of fur too. But <clears throat> I managed to get out of my shoe and found myself standing in a rock pile, graveled. I'm tender-footed sort of a feller, I always was. So I'm there ooing and aahing and ouching, and he's over in a briar patch trying to get loose from my shoe and the glue trap. And he's over there carrying on his little own little war, and, and I'm busy trying to address my bleeding foot and kind of an embarrassing situation. But anyway, I, I, I he finally won the battle and got loose and left my shoe in a, in a briar patch. And by the time I was able to be reunited with it, I was bleeding some more. Which brings me to tell you that y'all better be careful with them glue traps because they're dangerous in some situations. And this is one of them situations. So, what, what, watch, watch how that works out for you. And by the way, as bad as I feel about it, I may, if I think the <clears throat> animal rights people won't get on me, I might post a video of what happened when the cat found one of these glue traps. I, I, I'm swearing off glue traps. I, I won't use anymore. They're cruel and inhuman. And I, I guess that's my message for today. But by the way, if y'all need any cats, some kittens, uh, you might want to come on out and get you a sack full before they're all gone. Hurry out now. <laughs> Thank you. That was the second recording of that little clip. And uh, the first time I got interrupted, I uh, all apologies to Everybody involved, but here's the way it started off the first time. 
See, I, I, right here on the lake, I've got a cabin up on the hill, and it's, uh, it's just kind of a hole in the woods. And up at the cabin, I need to give you a little background here. Up at the cabin, I've got, I've managed to acquire a bunch of feral cats that think I owe them a living, so I feed them, and, and they live there. They don't want to be touched or petted or nothing like that. They want to keep their distance, and that's all right with me because I don't need a lot of friendly cats around anyway, but I can't seem to be getting more all the time. Anyway, down here on the lake... <laughs> oh, What are you going to do, cat? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Here. Come on. Now look, you're going to have to let me get you loose. Here. Lay down. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do this. But you in a mess. Here's one. Come here, don't get stuck to the tent. A little hair loose, that'll get you. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry, cat. Ooh.